Good day. This is Hendrina at Hohe Wellness Center. Today we're going to talk about the power of budgeting and power of planning for a healthier, happier self. So in life, God has created us to have some power of self-control, self-discipline, and be able to choose healthier choices in life. So we have to have that in control for us to be able to choose healthily. Because if you can't control yourself, if you don't have self-discipline, then you need someone to guide you. That's why we have those who are under age, they don't sign for themselves because they need guardians. But as mature adults, we need to have self-control in place. We need to have self-discipline or else we are going to perish to eternal bankruptcy in everything in life. When it comes to budgeting with our finances, everyday finances, we need to know how much am I spending per week. This is determined definitely by your income. If you are earning so much, you cannot be spending so much of your in a day, which is already half of your salary, because your salary is supposed to sustain you throughout the month. And you should still have some savings for rainy days when there's no income or when there's nothing. So that's why you have to budget so that you can live within your means so that you don't look, you know, it's sin even to just be wanting everything. You can't be wanting everything that you cannot afford because if you have that, 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 that age of just wanting everything, it will force you to sin, it will force you to steal, it will force you to do anything which is not godly. So self-control and discipline, it's a godly principle, it's a godly um, attitude that we should have so that we can be content with what we have. Whatever God has given you at that moment is what you can handle. Don't wish that you can have 10 million if you can't even handle a thousand dollars. If you are given a thousand dollars in a day, you spend it in a day. So how do you expect God to give you a million dollars? Because you will save nothing. You are going to go absolutely mad and shop for everything that you don't even think of or plan for. And this is what we are educating at Jorge Wellness Center. We are going to have classes and then you can also invite us. We've got specialists that are accountants by professions, people that are practicing healthy uh, financial discipline, and they can educate you on how to put up healthy budgeting uh, plans, healthy um, attitude towards uh, money, and how to just live within your means and be content and be healthy and happy. You know, if you are not budgeting properly, you are going to have your peace stolen because you are never going to be happy because you will be sometimes that you will not be able to afford even to buy food. There will be times that you can't afford to have your kids going to school. There will be times that you will not be able to pay your rent or you are not able to pay your debts that you have collected. And this is one thing that I'm also saying, don't accumulate a lot of debts that you are not able to pay. Given debts that you must pay over a long term of period, it's not luxury. It's actually a burden to you because now you have to pay back with interest. That's why it's better to save and then buy what you can afford cash if you can. And we have the power to do that. If we can just be self-disciplined and be content at any time with what we have and not wanting more what we don't have. So, and also when it comes to planning, we need to plan, especially in Africa. African people, we give birth to so many kids that we don't plan for. I mean, that's why we need to have self-control. We need to be planning of how many kids am I going to have? So many kids that I can have is what I can afford. Let us not become a burden, burdening other people who, and who only budgeted for two kids or three kids or four kids because that is what they can afford and make them a burden and then start complaining. No, she doesn't like us or he doesn't look after us because you didn't do your homework. You already know exactly what happens when you do ABC with an X chromosome and the Y chromosome. So when you do X, Y, Z and you know, you know what the outcome will be 
and you keep on doing the same thing and repeating and repeating. This is why we need to break the generational cases, the generational toxicity that we have built up in our cultures of just thinking that when I have more children, I'm rich. You are rich by the number of children that you have, but you cannot offer them quality, quality lifestyle. The children need proper love. The children need to be nurtured by the mother and the father that are living together. The children need to be in a home, which is proper home. They must feel loved. They must feel everything that, that God has made us to be here on earth, to enjoy life to the fullest. So let us not be not controlling of what we do and not budgeting for what we want in life so that we can become a burden to other people for things that we could control ourselves. So I am going to talk more and we, as we go on and on educating at Hohe Wellness Center, we are educating on preventative measures. Prevention is better than cure. Let us learn on how to prevent. Let us learn on the truth of small things that are making us poor. Poverty is not just lack of money. Poverty is also lack of planning, lack of budgeting, lack of just knowing the truth and applying the truth. Everything of the truth is in the Bible. Let us learn and study the Bible and apply it to every aspect of our life. And then we can prevent things that can lead us to unhealthier us and unhappier us. And that is what is leading us to even wanting to scam others because we are not content with what we have or we can no longer live because we have run out of funds. So let's do what we can. Let's live within our means. Let's be healthy all the way. All the aspects of life must be healthy for us to make healthy decisions, healthy choices, and let's move away from unhealthy choices, unhealthy habits, and just be with, within who God created us to be. And this is what we are really promoting at Hohe Wellness Center. Everything that we do, it must be within your means. Everything that you do, it must be what can lead to healthier you. Don't make choices of anything that is going to make you an, a miserable person. Even buying anything that you cannot afford because other people are, are having it. Unhealthy competition is robbing you of your peace. Live within your means, be happy with what you have, be happy with where God has placed you at that moment, and work hard towards what you want to be. It's okay to be appreci appreciating people in life. It's okay to have mentors. It's okay to have uh, people that we look up to, but let's follow in their suit and then follow the steps they have walked to make it to the level where they are. Because without self-control and self-discipline, we are never going to achieve anything that will remain in, in within with us forever. Because we need to build our legacy starting today. You cannot start building a legacy at the age of 60. You must start building your legacy as, as young as possible so that your, your generation can, can, can reap the fruits of what you have been uh, planting. So the seeds that you are planting today Think of your children. Think of how many children do you want to have in the future? How many grandchildren are coming to reap the fruits of what you are harvesting today? That's why it's very important to plant a seed every single day. Every single day, plant a healthy seed. Don't only think of you. Think of your legacy. Think of your future generation. Think of your nation. Think of the world. What will you re be remembered for when you leave this earth? You will be remembered of what you you way on this earth because of what you did to others not only what you did to yourself so plant healthy seeds not only in your life and your children and your community but a legacy that will stay forever when you are no longer here it must be a positive legacy to carry your name to the next future the next generation and especially the most important one is that it will lead you to eternal healthy you when you die when you leave this earth where will you go that's what matters. That's why everything that you do is leading you to where you are going to be when you are no longer here. Let's be healthy all the way. This is your Hendrina. I am a, farm, a pharmacist by profession, but I am a very, very, um, I'm really, really, I'm really passionate about transforming lives all the way. And I do it with all my heart. And it's just, I'm just joyous when I do this. I just want every day to touch 
somebody's life like this because that is what gives me satisfaction that is what gives me um, healthier me as i just give myself to save others and to teach them the truth and i do it with joy and it gives me full satisfaction and i think this is what i was born to do i am also currently the namibian businesswoman of the year as the community nominated me because they saw what i was doing out there in the community for other people but i will never stop and i'm encouraging others and empowering others to do the same so they can follow in my suit thank you have a lovely day and please do follow us on hohe wellness center and on all our hohe platforms we are there inspiring educating and all that because education is what we need one is never stupid until you are educated and if you are educated and you are ignoring the skills and the, the knowledge that you are receiving, then you become ignorant and then you can perish because of you not getting the truth. Because the truth is all we need. Only the truth will set us free from poverty, from unhappiness, and that will lead us to eternal, healthier destination all the way until the day we die. Have a lovely day. Cheerio. And don't forget, don't forget, to subscribe and to like and to share because sharing is caring. When you educate your next generation, you are breaking that case so that the generations don't repeat themselves and you don't become a, a, a burden in your in your in your in your in your in your family because everybody's doing the same thing that we had done in the past. Let us break the generational toxicity that has been built up that has made us poor, that has made us to stay behind and not knowing the truth and not applying the truth because life is just life and we have the same 24 hours and we can build absolutely healthier legacy for our own self and for our generations, just like everybody else is doing it in the world. Nothing makes us different. Our uniqueness is only that our cultures are different, but we need to embrace that because that's why we need diversity to bring all of us together and learn from each other to see why are we behind, why are we like this, so that we can learn and move forward to become better and healthier nation and healthier country and nation individuals that are going to be of influence of positive influence of true leadership to make a difference a significant difference not only in our lives but in the lives of others and to leave importantly a positive legacy have a beautiful day see you at Jorge wellness center cheerio bye bye